Hello, I'm here with Jared, who happens to be one of the neighbors of the Hurston family. Say hello, Jared. Hi. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about, uh, as, as a neighbor, not too many neighbors have race cars out in their front yards. How long have you been racing? Oh, well, I've been racing probably since I was 14 years old. So I'm um, 35 years old now. And uh, we've won multiple track championships, mostly here in the state of Florida. Uh, I've had the privilege of racing all over the United States. Uh, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Indiana, a lot of northern stuff during the summertime. Wintertime, we can still race here in Florida. So, uh, actually, uh, what's your local track? Where do you usually go for? Uh, my local track is probably Orlando Speed World. Um, I'm a seven time super late model champion there. Wow. So, that's probably the, I don't know, I don't know how you would phrase it, but I probably won more there than anybody. Probably the most heat and feature wins. But, um, and tell us about your car here. Is this your uh, only race car? You oh, have? no, we have more race cars. This just happens to be, uh, we're in the middle of a project building a new dirt car at the moment. This is, these are asphalt race cars. And um, I had to actually push it out of the shop and out of the hauler and to make room to, you know, for other projects. But uh, this race car <clears throat> normally competes at least 30 times a year, um, you know, body parts and chassis wise. Uh, never buy a race car from Florida. <laughs> we don't take any time off. Gotcha, so, gotcha. It's, uh, by the time it's ready to retire, it's ready to right, retire this, then. This particular race car here won over half of its races that it ran in last year. So it's With you as the driver. With me as the driver. And you're the only driver. I'm the only driver. It's got a really good track record. And the name of your, it's the, what series is it? Uh, well, normally we run the Bright House Challenge, or uh, Fast Car is actually our weekly um, series that we run. They'll run us either every week or every other week, depending on how the rain and the schedule comes. And now we're, we're here uh, promoting the build and what have you. What kind of uh, impact has this had on you? I talked with Petey, you guys are still able to get in and out of your drives. Oh yeah. A pretty good bunch of folks with the build. Oh yeah, yeah, they've done everything they promised they were gonna do. It's bigger and better than we thought it was gonna be. Um, the Hurstons are very deserving. Um, we, we know them casually walking the dogs, talking to them, seeing the kids learn how to ride the bike, you know, the, the newest girl. Right. Um, you know, we're, you know, I wouldn't say we eat dinner at their house every night, but we're all friendly. Fantastic. And, and it's uh, a nice big neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I think all the neighbors were on board uh, uh, immediately, you know. You know how uh, word travels. Sure. So everybody was excited. I don't know if they were as excited as the family, but I, I think they <laughs> might have been. But, uh, yeah, we love it out here. We're a little bit more spread out community, you know. So there's not as many families involved, but uh, looks like there's plenty of people involved. Well, I'm hoping that the folks that will visit this on WMEL's uh, website and also AVET Project Facebook are going to get to know a little uh, a little bit about the neighbors out here and what a neat community it is and how how y'all gel and it is it's 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 right. a unique situation right. to have. All the neighbors out here have hobbies. If it if it's not racing, it's you know it's something else. Maybe the kids race. Somehow they go. Maybe with they them. maybe they fish. Maybe they have airboats, but this particular community that's the way that I, and I understand Joe has an airplane so that's probably one of his you know loves also aside from what he does with his charitable work you know sure sure well we just appreciate you taking time with us how can somebody take a look at on, on the web any of your accomplishments and any of your racing vehicles do you have a website uh, I do not have a website uh, we're kind of busy but uh, you can go to fastcar.org fastcar.org right that's the local uh, racing for Florida and, and we're probably uh, going to see your name prominently featured there somewhere with all the yeah, wins you have. We're on, uh, well, we're also on Bright House. Gotcha. But, uh, yeah, you can go there and check us out. It shows all the track records and everything like that. So. Fantastic. Yep. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you for your time, really. Thank you, man.